Hey there, bot stars. Kelly Noble Birabella here, and in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about how to keep that block rate down. Block rates are this metric that Facebook gives you to allow you to see kind of how many people are blocking you or basically marking your messages as spam. Not only am I going to show you where to find this little metric so that you can gauge where you land, but I'm going to give you three ways that you can avoid having a high block rate. But what would be considered a high block rate? Well, a high block rate is pretty much anything over 3%. You really want to stay under 3% and definitely stay away from above 8%. Once you hit that 8% range, it is very likely that Facebook will actually make it so that you cannot send messages anymore. In other words, you're going to Facebook jail. I know, that's no fun. So let me talk to you really quick about the three ways that you can keep your block rate down. Number one, set expectations. You wanna make sure that people know what they're getting into before they enter your chatbot. So if you're using a growth tool or you're doing a Facebook ad, let people know that they will be going into Facebook Messenger. One of the fastest ways to get marked as spam is to send messages to people who didn't realize that they were even getting opt it in to your messages. Ugh, you don't want that. So be sure that you're setting those expectations. Also, once people come into your chatbot, let them know what to expect. How often should they be expecting messages? What kind of content? And then deliver on those expectations. So now let's talk about number two. You want to make it easy to unsubscribe. Every time you send out a broadcast or a sequence message, you want to have a nice little button in there for people to unsubscribe. Now I know, I know the mentality. A lot of marketers do not like making it easy to unsubscribe. You're so focused on the numbers, but it is better to have people who want to receive your messages than people who don't want to receive your messages just because you like the high numbers. It doesn't make sense for marketing. So be sure that you have a nice little unsubscribe button at the bottom of every single message that you send out. An alternative thing that you can do instead of just having them unsubscribe is having a button that says something along the lines of why am I seeing this? And then that can go into a flow that explains to people why they are receiving those messages and you can have them update their subscription so they're not getting as many or they're getting exactly what they want. Okay, so let me talk to you about number three, which is all about putting on those gloves and cleaning. You got to clean your list. Now, if you want to learn how you can clean your list, be sure to check out that video right there where I actually show you step by step on how to clean your list inside of ManyChat. But basically, you want to get rid of any subscribers who've gone stale, people who are no longer interacting or opening with your messages. And if they haven't seen your messages in a long time, that's an indication it's time to go. So there you have it. Three ways to keep that block rate down. Now, now, I promised you I was going to show you where you can go in order to find your block rate. So let's head over onto Facebook right now and let me show you what's up. In your Facebook business page, go to insights, scroll down to where it says messages. And that is where you're going to find your block rate. Now, as you can see, I have a 2% block rate, which makes sense because I just sent out a huge broadcast just a couple days ago. And usually your block rate is going to go up every time you send out a broadcast and then it'll shrink back down as you are not sending any more broadcasts. So it waves and flows. But again, you want to stay under 3% in order to stay happy with Facebook. So there you have it. Try to keep that block rate as low as possible by using these tips that I have shared with you today. If you have some tips for keeping that block rate low that I did not mention, hit me up down in the comments below or if you have questions or a topic you want me to discuss in a future video. If you'd like to get more support with your chatbot building adventure, be sure to check out my growing Facebook group, Baby Got Bot. Link is in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit me with the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified when new videos come to the channel each week. Now, if you wanna learn even more about chatbots, be sure to check out that list right there where all of my previous videos land. Thank you so much and have a rockin' day.